Rob Warnock, um, welcome back to uh, the football club for 2011. Um, I take it you'll be uh, half a chance to start in the second intra-club practice match this weekend? Yeah, absolutely. Looking forward to it. It's been a uh, pretty long pre-season, so um, you know, it's always good when games come along. Now, uh, I guess the club's taken a conservative approach with you in terms of the scratch matches so far. W- w- why is that exactly? Um, just suppose you know it's a pretty long year coming up, so uh, you know there's a uh, you know 22 week season plus finals, so plenty of games to be played. So um, you know I'm you know I'm just ditching to get out there this week. You know it's held back last week, so uh, looking forward to getting out there this week. And uh, I understand and reliably informed of the club that you've probably turned in one of the better pre seasons of all the players that have come back to Carlton over 2010-2011. Um, what, what has been the reasoning for that? Just injury free. Yeah, well, it's probably the first year I haven't had a knot for uh, three or four years, I think. So that always helps when you're uh, when you're able to actually get out there and train. You know, the pre-seasons these days are a massive thing, and you know, for players, you probably usually see the form of of players that have you know had a pre-season, opposed to those that haven't. Um, that usually stems through the season. So. Um, you know, it's great to just be out there doing a pre-season. You know, it's, it's a lot better than being in rehab, um, sitting on the bike. So, uh, yeah, just being great being out there. Can you explain exactly what it is that um, uh, an injury interrupted pre-season does in terms of your, you know, your game time and the way you play through the course of the year? Yeah, well, there's no substitute for uh, for for the training, you know, for running and everything like that. So, if you if you, if you are hindered um, from fitness point of view purely. You know, you're always playing catch up, but uh, you know, then you got to add in the factors of you know, you probably lose a bit of touch, a bit of skill, a bit of game sense. You know, so that always takes time to come back. Um, you know, just playing games and that kind of thing. So uh, hinges you in that regard. Probably fitness is the main thing. Um, as I said, you're always playing catch up. You know, probably not until the end of the year you start probably feel a bit bit fitter and um, a bit fresher. You know, so it's never easy coming out of pre- out of um, rehab but uh, you know the good players really seem to find a way but um, you know I think this day and age is always getting harder and harder because there's so much demand on on running that um, you know the the game's so quick now that the, the worse spending time out there the harder it is to come back have you been able to get your head around the uh, the new ruling with the uh, the interchange and the substitutes um, do you know what impact that will actually have on you as a player um, oh, I suppose you've got to a brief understanding of how it is. I mean, the, we haven't tried the rule yet, so it'd be hard to until we actually do. But say for a big man, it'll probably be uh, many more time on the ground, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But um, you know, whether or not it affects you know, the second ruckman, or you know, so to speak, um, time will tell. But uh, you know, there'll be a few teething problems and that kind of thing early. But um, yeah, interesting one. And uh, just a final question, uh, Rob: Are you a goal setter by nature? If so, have you set yourself a personal goals for 2011? Yeah, probably am by nature. I haven't sat down and done it for the, for the season coming up. Um, it was more probably pre-season. Um, you know, it'd be great to play all twenty, all twenty-two. Plus, uh, you know, if we do play finals, you know, and play some good footy. So, um, you know, I've, I've had a bit of continuity last year with you know playing some games and now a bit of a pre-season. So I just got to try and put that into place and you know, hopefully it comes through on the, on the field. Well, you've given yourself half a chance getting through the pre-season intact. So best of luck with it for two thousand and eleven and beyond, Robbie. Everyone knows. Thanks, mate.